There is a possibility that Abedin is connected to the Koran family. We have analyzed this question many times before. In fact, we last discussed the possibility that Abedin, in addition to being Ifakat's son, could also be Orhan's child. So, we mentioned that even if Abedin is not the son of Ifakat's deceased husband, he could definitely be Orhan's child. So, what big secret is Orhan hiding from everyone? Halis Aga already knew about the relationship between Ifakat and Orhan. I have already explained this question to you in detail in a video. Does Ifakat have children? And if so, who is the father of this child? Ifakat has a secret that she is keeping in the series, and as I always say, this secret is Ifakat's child whom she is hiding from everyone. As I have explained in previous videos, the most likely scenario is that Ifakat's child is Abedin. Well, if Ifakat had a child, she wouldn't hide him, she would use him as a rival for Ferret. This is a very fair comment because if Ifakat had such a child, she wouldn't hide him and would make him Halley's Aga's favorite. Of course, if this child is from Ifakat's deceased husband. So, I assume that the reason Ifakat is hiding this child is that he is not actually from her deceased husband. I think Ifakat's child is Orhan's son. In other words, due to Orhan's secret love affair with Ifakat, Ifakat became pregnant, but then Orhan had to marry Gulgun. I said he had to marry. Because Halis Aga told Orhan, I knew about your love. Despite this, Orhan married Gulgun. Ifakat became pregnant with Orhan when he was single. However, when Ifakat learned about her pregnancy, she gave birth to the child without telling anyone that it was Orhan's child. Then she and Orhan agreed and secretly left this newborn baby. This child is Abedin. Abedin, whom Orhan personally hired and helped in a difficult situation, is the son of Orhan and Ifakat. But let's move on to the real sensation. As you know, Ifakat claimed that she lost her husband in a car accident. In other words, Halley's Aga's eldest son died in a car accident, just like Fyut. I already said that Tarek deliberately caused the car accident in which Fyut died. But unfortunately, with Tarek leaving the series after the assassination attempt on Ferret, we couldn't see the behind the scenes of this incident and thus couldn't find out that Tarek was involved in Fyut's accident. After Ifakat and her husband's accident, Ifakat survived, and her husband died in the accident. Fyut and Asuman, like Ifakat and her husband, were involved in the accident, and Fyut died while Asuman survived. As I said before, Tarek was the cause of Fyut's accident. So who caused Ifakat's husband's accident? Who orchestrated it? At this moment, the biggest and only real possibility that comes to mind is Orhan. By getting rid of him, Ifakat and Orhan would become the main figures of the Koran family and remove the only obstacle to their love. But the person who changed all the events was Halis Aga. Although Halis Aga knew about the forbidden love, he didn't tell anyone about it. But later, realizing that Orhan and Ifakat's love was developing, and because of the death of his eldest son, he married Orhan to Gulgun without asking Orhan. Thus, by doing this, Halis Aga hindered the forbidden love between Orhan and Ifakat. But something happened that Halis Aga didn't notice. Orhan was so in love with Ifakat that he even allowed his brother to die. So, I think Orhan planned this accident and caused his brother's death because he loved Ifakat and wanted to separate her from his brother. Don't say that Orhan is not capable of such a thing. In previous episodes, Orhan almost caused Kazem's death, although he didn't want to. And as if that wasn't enough, Orhan told Ifakat in previous episodes that we need to get rid of Halis Aga, and as a result, he said he wanted to paralyze Halis Aga. So, if Orhan thinks like this about his father, imagine what he did to his brother, Ifakat's husband. I think that in the upcoming episodes, these events will be revealed again. So, do you think Orhan really killed his brother? Please don't forget to write your thoughts on this in the comments.
this revelation could be a very dramatic and impactful turning point. Such character transformations and intrigues often add excitement to the series and keep the audience engaged. However, whether this scenario will be executed depends on the preferences of the show's producer. TV series scriptwriters and producers shape the development of characters and the course of the story in the direction they desire. This type of story progression can contribute to more complex and profound character development. However, it is also important to consider viewers' connection to the characters and the overall reception of the series. If such a twist doesn't align with viewers' expectations, showrunners may not want to take the re. If you remember the first episode of the series Kingfisher, there was an interesting moment when Ifa Cat, partially naked, washes Hallie's Aga's feet. I wondered if there might be some connection between them. Why did Hallie's Aga trust Ifa Cat with so much power, even more than his own son, Orhan? It is intriguing to see how Ifa Cat will handle this responsibility. She is very afraid of losing her status, and every word she says carries great weight. Remember that moment when Ifa Cat wanted to undress, and Hallie's told her not to do it, or else she would freeze. What did the writers want to convey with that scene? Perhaps there is a special connection or secret between Ificat and Hallie's that we will discover in the further development of the plot. Ificat and Hallie's Aga may have shared interests or a secret they are trying to keep. In the series Kingfisher, there are often intrigues and hidden motives among the characters, so it is not excluded that Ificat and Hallie's have some joint secret or plan. It is possible that they have come together to achieve specific goals or protect their own interests. Their interaction and joint actions may be key to the development of the plot and the unraveling of mysteries, adding mystery and intrigue to their relationship. The writers may have introduced this plot element to create additional complexity and surprise for the viewers. By continuing to watch the series, we may learn more about the connection between Ificat and Hallie's Aga and the secrets they are hiding. Sertar could have accepted Pelin to play his last game. I think Sertar said to Pelin, we will make the last move and leave like this. In the previous episode, Pelin said to Sertar, if you keep your promises, I will agree to leave with you. I think one of Sertar's promises to Pelin was revenge. In other words, before leaving the series with Sertar, Pelin will take revenge and leave the series in this way. In this part, I think Sertar will cause great harm to Ferret and leave the series. In fact, Sertar may not personally harm Ferret, but he may harm Siren in this regard. I think Sertar will leave the series after taking revenge, but Pelin will also die when this revenge is carried out. Thus, Surtur's revenge will accidentally become the end for Pelin. Therefore, I think the character Pelin will die and leave the series. Otherwise, it would be very illogical for Pelin to leave the series so easily. Because if that happens, Pelin can return to the series again. So, Pelin will have to die so that she does not come back to the series.